Hello, let's play a game of Power Up. Let's start with the story mode. In the story mode, it's an easy way to get to uh, know the game. Uh, it's kind of like a, a tutorial. Each mission uh, introduces new gameplay and new parts of the game. Uh, in the first mission, you need uh, four tiles, number 10, number 8, number 12, uh, and number 11. Uh, it also says where you need to spawn uh, monsters and where to place, uh, place any extra tokens. I have uh, set up the game for uh, two players against one bug mistress. Um, the first mission only has uh, buggies on the board. Uh, buggies are the weakest monsters. They have one heart uh, that costs one point and uh, they can only do a melee attack with a one white die. Um, they have four action points and they can only do one attack. So they can move three times and attack once or uh, move four times and not attack. Uh, if they die, they drop two coins and they have a special ability of team four, which means they can group uh, up to four buggies onto one tiles, uh, which act as a group of buggies, which you will see uh, later in the game. Um, we also have two bug busters. Uh, first we have May. Uh, she's good at melee. She has a knife which she uses for a melee, uh, a white and a yellow die. For the ranged attack, she only has a, a gun, a BB gun. Uh, she rolls one white die. Uh, she has a range of three, which means she can shoot uh, three tiles, uh, three squares uh, on the board within line of sight. Uh, she has an ammo of three and five reaction points, which is uh, pretty high. Uh, in epic mode, she rolls three yellow dice, which is very good, uh, and two white for ranged attack. You can also uh, spend one uh, reaction token to add one yellow die to your attack. Uh, when she is epic, she adds two white reaction tokens and one ammo token. And her sword does an area damage of one, which means uh, any adjacent um, monster gets one damage. The second bugbuster is Mo. He has a weaker melee attack, only one white die, but a stronger uh, ranged attack of two white die. He has four reaction points and three ammo. And he has a special shield for ranged attacks, which means if he gets attacked by ranged attack, he automatic automatically has one armor point. In epic mode, he has three white dice for melee and three yellow and one white, which is very powerful, for ranged attack. And he has shields for both melee and um, ranged attacks. He can spend ammo tokens for extra yellow dice. He also has an area damage of one um, with his uh, napalm spitter. So we have a good mix of uh, melee and ranged uh, combat. Uh, each uh, bug buster starts with three health, three hearts. Uh, you place the amount of reaction tokens that correspond with the card, and the same goes for ammo, both in this case have three. Uh, each character also has a token, a normal bugbuster, and a epic version, which comes into play once the player goes into epic mode. Um, if you start a mission, you always start on one side or the other. In this case, we start on the left side, and they can choose on, uh, on any beginning tile where they place their token. 
So let's start with uh, Mo on the top and May on the bottom. Uh, the mission here is both players need to get to the POW token alive. If they die during their quest, uh, this mission fails and you have to start over. Um, and the mission of the bug mistress is to stop the boat's uh, bug busters. For setup, also give both players a uh, helper card, uh, which indicates what they can do during their turn. So uh, if it's their turn, they have four actions. Um, for one action, you can move, you can flip, you can attack, you can rest, you can take, you can throw, and you can give. I will uh, give some examples during uh, gameplay. And you can also spend two actions to do a jump or a revive. That will also be shown during gameplay. Once you've done all four actions, you flip the card and you can use at a time um, during your turn or during another player's turn, meaning a friend or uh, the bug buster uh, during uh, the bug mistress turn. You can spend um, a reaction token to do any of these actions. It's also a move, a flip, an attack, a roll, a take, a throw, an assist, or two um, tokens to do a jump or a revive. Uh, you also have a scorecard, which you can use to keep score. Um, to see at the end of the mission to see who scored most points. And I think oh, you also place a uh, helper card of the damage, uh, which we will see later on. And then you have the store, which is up here. Let's go up here. Uh, these weapons can be bought once you enter the POW token, um, which you will see at the end of the mission. Let's start a mission. First, it's the Bugbusters turn. And each time they start, they can choose which player goes first. Every time uh, this can change uh, any time during their turn. So uh, let's start with Mo. He's at the top and he will shoot at that buggy, rolling two dice. And let's roll. Oh, we have one hit, which is enough to kill it. So. A buggy has one heart and we rolled one skull and one skull means one heart of damage which is enough to kill this buggy and put a coin of two in its place so we did a uh, attack with one action, so we have three actions left. Let's do a jump of two actions. A jump can do, for, you can do a jump um, crossing two um, squares. So uh, he can jump from here to here with two action points and take the coin, which is free. And then he has one action left and he can shoot that one. Oh, yes, he shot, so we can put it here. Um, Mo has a range of three for his shooting action. He's at this square, so one, two, three, which is enough range, so we can hit it. So two white eyes. Ah, we missed. And we lose another ammo token. That's the end of Mo's turn. Now we have May's turn. Um, let's just move forward. He also has a range of three and this buggy is too far away to hit. Uh, let's do one, two, and this is a special door or gate to, uh, square. You can use that as an action and go to any other gate on the map. 
uh, there is only one in this case so she can use it so we did one two and then use the gates is also one action and we come out of this way and now this gate is turned off so you can't go back through the gate you went through um, and she has one more action left which she will use to do a melee attack with a white and a yellow die She did two skulls of damage oh. and a blank for white. Um, since we're doing a melee attack and we are facing each other, uh, the buggy can do a defense roll. And for that, we just look at their melee uh, die, which is one. So the bug mistress rolls one die, which is a blank. Uh, so this one dies too. And the coin up here. And that's the four actions May can take. Um, so that's the end of uh, her turn. Which means it's the turn of the bug mistress. Uh, she draws two, one card for each bug buster that is playing the game. So in this case, we draw two cards. And you can use these cards during your turn. Um, these are two event cards. Uh, on that, you can see uh, what event you can play. Or you can use the points, in this case, two times six, uh, to spawn new monsters. But in this mission, we don't have any uh, of these guys, burpees, um, that can spawn monsters. So for this mission, we can't use these um, numbers. Uh, yeah, these, uh. So we can either use explosive gas, which um, disables ranged attack during the next turn or we can use the creeper which slows down the bugs, bug busters so uh, movement uh, will cost two action points and jump four but for now let's disable the ranged attack so we can um, bug Mr. Mo here so uh, we keep this one in our hand and this will be played so during next turn you can't do any uh, ranged attacks. Now let's move the bugs and uh, start attacking. Let's start with this one. Um, you can either uh, go attack Mo or we can attack May. So let's uh, Mo is further away, but this may be the best option to attack. So let's go to him. We have four points we can spend. So one, two. We have two more left. But since we're attacking, um, after the attack, the buggy's turn ends. Um, he attacks. It's one more die. Let's roll it. Ah, it's a miss. Too bad. Uh, this one went, so it didn't do anything. Um, let's jump, so that's two points, go down, that's one point, go down again, and team up with this buggy. This group will go up and do an attack on May. Since we're a group of two buggies, we can roll two white dice, and we get a good hit of two points. But uh, since we're doing, again, a melee attack, uh, May can roll a defense with uh, a white and a yellow. And we get two skulls, so they cancel each other out. Nothing happens. And what do we have? We have uh, four more left. One, two, three, four. They team up to four, that's the maximum, 
and then we move this group uh, one, two, three, four. Oops. And then we have this one left, so one. Um, let's just keep this one back in case they go through. We can uh, still offer some defense there. So that's all the buggy turns. Now it's the uh, bug busters again. They can choose which one goes first, either Mo or May, but in this case it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's start with Mo. He has a buggy in front of him and he will kick it in the face since we don't allow any ranged attack with one die. Aha, one skull, which is good. And the defense roll for the buggy is a blank, which is also good. So he dies, and we get another two coins here. That's our first action. We have three more left. So let's collect a coin. Woohoo, four coins. Uh, so two, three. Four, and let's spend a reaction to maybe get more than that. No, let's wait. Then it's May turn, and she will kick the team of buggies in the face. Ah, two skulls, and they have two white dice and one skull. So this one cancels this one. We have one skull. And one skull does one more damage, so one buggy dies of the group, and it drops two coins. Let's roll again, we have three actions left. Let's go. Oh no, wait. Uh, since we did in the last one one skull damage, we also push back one. Um, when you do a, an, an attack and the monster doesn't die, uh, you push back the number of skulls you rolled. So this case was two. So you push back two, so it's one. And no. One who falls down. Uh, we have three actions left, so let's collect the coins. We can advance. Uh, we can shoot. Let's do three. And then kick this one in the face while we're floating in the air. Two skulls. No defense. Great. So we died. And we fall down because of uh, gravity. So one, two. Four. So we did our four actions. Now we can, if we want, we can use a reaction to do a final attack on this buggy. Let's do that. Aha! A pow and a skull. A pow is uh, three damage. And so we did four damage and we did a pow, which means we can draw a POW card. Oops. Let's get a POW card. Um, this is a special card. Um, you can place a barrier grenade. OK. 
Okay. Uh, if you pay one ammo, you can place uh, a barrier which has two armors. It can be useful maybe to place behind her, or we can just keep it and collect the letters. Um, here you can see we have an E. If you can form the word epic uh, with four cards, you can play those four cards and become epic for one turn. So you can turn your card over and place your epic uh, avatar on the board and wreak havoc. So let's keep this card in hand for me for now. Uh, so yes, the defense, which won't matter. Uh, these are the dice. And drops two coins. That's the end of the Bugbusters turn. So back to the Bugbusters. She draws one card. So the first time she draws two cards, and every other turn she, uh, she only draws one card. Uh, what did we get? We get the charge, which allows the um, monsters to move twice as fast. Uh, the explosive gas now gets discarded. It's only active during one turn. And let's slow them down. And play the creeper card. So next turn, Bugbusters move and jump actions cost double. And we only have, have one team left. And uh, these buggies will turn around, go forward, and May will use a reaction point to turn around. So she will be able to do a defense roll because these buggies will attack. And since there is a group of four, we need oops, four white dice. And we only did two hits. This is four. The defense roll is white and yellow. And we do the successful defense. That's the end of the book, Mr. Stern. Great. Um, let's start with Mo. He will jump. It's two points. Three. There's a two clips in. And four. He's almost. Oh no no no! Wait 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 wait. We have the uh, creeper action. So jumping is four. End of most turn. Good good good. And May will kick this group of uh, buggies in the face. Ah, two hits. And the defense. Three, so the attack fails. No worries. Let's try again. Three damage. Oops. Three damage with one defense, so only two left. So two damage, uh, two skulls means only one heart of damage. So one of the dice. And it drops a coin. Uh, yes, let's keep attacking. She can also shoot, but she has a low. Yeah. Ah, too bad. Uh, we rolled a buggy on the yellow die. This buggy eats one successful other die. So in this case, we only have one white die left with a success on it. This one gets eaten and gets cancelled. So the attack fails. And that's attack number three. So let's do a final attack, which is better. 
three uh, hits. Ooh, no, wait, there's only three left, so let's re-roll. <laughs> and it's still bad. That's a good defense. So we only rolled three hits, and we did four defense, so debuggies win. And that's the end of the bug monster's turn. So, this card. One more card, which is a trick. The buggy doesn't attack and steals a weapon from the player, and it moves four spaces. But uh, the bug busters don't have um, any weapons, and we don't need to charge because we're in range, so we can just keep this card. And let's just do an attack with three whites. Let's hope we roll big. Ooh, three skulls, which is pretty good. Defense of May, also three. So that cancels the attack. All right, great turn. Let's see if May can finish this one off. Three hits. Defense of three. Only one. Oops. So this cancels it. So we do. Oh man, I forgot to push again. Uh, let's do the push now. Um, so we only do one damage, one dice. So this cancels. Pushes us back. And first action, let's collect these coins, because why not, and do a ranged attack. Uh, hmm. Sure, why not? Let's do a ranged attack. So we spend one ammo token, do a hit, and on, damn it. We get the so we do two skull defense, so nothing happens. And we wait. And let's moonwalk away. Let's spend a reaction. Right, then it's Mo turn, so he will one, he falls down, does a moonwalk, collect a coin, so two, three, and four. He's ready to end his turn in the next turn. So, Bug Mister's turn. New card, which allows us to evolve any uh, bigger buggies to a uh, two-faced buggy but we don't have any of these so this card is useless but we can use a charge this is good because there's a distance between them we're playing charge and that allows us to move twice as fast so this is one point two and now we can do an attack Three hits, defense fails, again another buggy, so we get three damage, which is bad, we lose two hearts, ouch, all right, maybe we'll start, great, a cow and a skull, which is four, and the defense to dice. It's three more cards. Three damage, uh, three defense. Let's get a cow card. 
Uh, so only one dies. And we kick it back four. So and the power card we get is concentration. If you do a ranged attack, uh, you automatically get one skull. And we have a P, which is great. So we all already have two cards for epic. And let's just get out of here. So two, three, and four. He will use the jump, and he is out of this game. Uh, since he enters the POW, he gets a POW card. He has also a P. Um, this costs nothing to play, and if you play it, you get two extra reaction tokens. So let's keep this. And now we are in the store with Mo. So Mo can use the store. So he draws a power card and he can buy any of these. So he can buy some extra ammo, some life pack. He can refresh the store so far new uh, weapons get drawn and he could reactivate a power token but for this mission only buying on the weapons is uh, interesting. He has six coins which allows him to buy a grenade or a laser gun. Let's see what this does. A laser gun is a ranged weapon uh, which add one white die to his uh, ranged attack which would be Right. So he would roll three white dice when he does a ranged attack. Uh, this is also an electric weapon. So any um, monsters that are um, that get extra damage when attacked by electric weapons uh, get extra damage, I think. Uh, it also has a drill, which means if um, the first monster dies uh, any monster that is behind it and within range also gets the remaining damage um, if you roll bugs this this weapon gets destroyed but since we don't roll any yellow dice only in epic mode i think yes um, if you roll a bug this weapon will be destroyed so that's maybe an option or we can use a grenade uh, the range of the grenade is a, the roll of a yellow so let's say if you roll two uh, you can throw this grenade two squares uh, far or three it's three or one and this one means it's Go, uh, it fails and it explodes in your face. Um, it's a one use weapon, so maybe this is not so interesting. Let's just buy the laser gun for Mo. Since we bought a weapon, a new weapon enters the store, which is an energy weapon which costs 10. So, mode it. Okay, Bugbuster's turn. He draws a card. And we have a range. A range. What does range? Roll a yellow die. And you add a yellow die to ranged attacks. Or melee attacks. So rage means uh, you add one yellow die to any ranged or melee attack for the uh, bugs. I'm not sure we're going to be able to attack this turn. 
So let's move him. So one, two, three, four, five. One of the bucks there. So final turn, probably for May. She will do a one, two, three, four, and we'll use a final, her final two reaction points to jump and also enter the power store. She draws a power card. We have an eye, which is great. Uh, the fury during a melee attack you can add one yellow die if you play this card but we're really close to a epic you only need a c but you only can carry four cards in your hand uh, so if you have four cards let's say you have this uh, p card as well uh, you have to play or discard one card to draw another uh, before you can draw another uh, power card um may has 10 points so she can buy a more powerful weapon than mo let's see the cards are maybe the most interesting uh we either have a tesla gun or a energy gun they both cost 10. the tesla gun has a range of two and this has a range of six so this one seems better uh, but this does an area damage of two and this does a drill um, let's buy the uh, energy gun let's buy coins uh, what's also uh, you can spend extra ammo to add yellow dice to your uh, attack and this one gets destroyed if you roll two bugs, which means during one roll, if you draw, uh, if you roll two bucks at the same time, this gun will get destroyed. So if you spend your ammo tokens on extra yellow dice, you get a bigger chance of rolling that uh, result. So let's add two, three. And that is the end of the first mission. Um, if you have any questions, po post them below. I will try to answer them. And um, if you want, I can do uh, more missions of the story mode, or I can try to explain the arcade mode uh, or the death match death mode. Uh, let me know below and see you on the next one.